90 miles west of London, and 20 miles north of Stonehenge, stands Avebury, the largest known stone ring in the world. Older than the more famous Stonehenge, and for many visitors, far more spectacular, the multiple rings of Avebury are cloaked with mysteries, which archaeologists have only begun to unravel. Avebury lies in the heart of the Wiltshire Downs, just west of Marlborough, the most ancient borough in England. Avebury stone circles, are thought to have been constructed in Neolithic times, between 2500, to 2000 BC. The Beaker people, so called after their pottery, are thought to have played a major role in their formation, as they did with Stonehenge. Avebury is more than just a stone circle, although this is its main feature. There is also a rampart, a ditch and two mysterious avenues. The rampart or bank is on the outside, then comes the ditch. They both have four entrances and enclose, some 28 acres. Inside these circles, none of the circumferences are perfect, is the stone circle itself. It once consisted of around 100, unquarried stones, inside this larger circle, were once two smaller circles. Only four stones of one of the smaller circles survive, although, there may have once been as many as 27. The site has been the subject of study, since the 17th century, but still remains an enigma. Many visitors to the Avebury site, notice what appear to be faces, carved into the sarsen stones. Some archaeologists, believe that these could represent, the people who built this ancient monument, while others claim that this phenomenon, is nothing more than a trick of the eye. The megaliths of Avebury, can be divided into two distinct types, those that are diamond-shaped, and those that resemble pillars. This has led various archaeologists, to speculate, that the stones represent the male and female sexes. In particular, the stones of the West Kennet Avenue, are set out in matched pairs, so that a pillar, male, is always placed directly opposite a diamond, female, pagans, centuries ago, as they do today, worshipped both male, and female divinities. Only 1,500 meters, south of the main Avebury rings, stands Silbury Hill, the largest, and perhaps, the most enigmatic, of all megalithic constructions, in Europe. Crisscrossing the surrounding countryside, are numerous meandering lines, of standing stones and mysterious underground chambers, many positioned, according to astronomical alignments. Perhaps the most astonishing revelations, of Avebury's ancient grandeur, have come through the recent research of John Michel, Paul Broadhurst, and Hamish Miller. Drawing upon legends, and folklore, archaeological excavations, and dowsing, these specialists have determined, that the Avebury Temple, was part of a vast network, of Neolithic sacred sites, arranged along a nearly 200-mile line, stretching all across southern England. 